Okay, I apologize for being absent today. It was an unforeseen um, circumstance, but I just wanted to give you some instructions on what you're supposed to be doing today. So if you go into Schoology and you go to the project and you look at the project description, um, you should be done with step 7.1 and 7.2, and you're going to start working on um, step 7.3 and 4. Um, if you finished up three and four, then you can work on other homework until I get to class. I'm hoping to be back by um, 1230. Okay, so here we go. We're opening up the project description. We're scrolling down to 7.3 and four. Well, actually, I think you've done 7.3. That's the materials. I'll check that off when I get back. 7.4 is the circuit diagram and wiring diagram. So when you do this, um, you need to go to your, your current D one view drawing and you need to mark with an X or some obvious label um, where the lights are going to go on your drawing, okay? And what you're doing is you're gonna be drawing how the wires are gonna connect the lights to make your circuit, okay? Be thinking about which lights do you wanna be bright and which lights do you wanna be dim. So like if we go to Notability, I'm gonna to go to Notability just to do a demonstration for you. Um, you know, one example I've been using throughout this project is um, a skate park. So if we have a skate park, let's say that my drawing looks something like this, where this is my page. And then, um, and here I have, you know, like maybe a ramp and maybe I have, and I should draw this nice and neat with rulers, but in the interest of time, I'm just, making a quick, maybe these are like rails, maybe these are trees, et cetera, et cetera. Um, well, and let's say I want to have, I want to have all my lights be the same brightness. And I don't want to, on this one, it doesn't matter too much. I don't need them to be super bright and I don't want them to be super dim. So the brightest you would want is to have two lights on in series, because if you do one light by itself, it'll probably burn out. So the minimum number of lights in series that you would want is two. The maximum would probably be four. If you do more than four in series, then you're, the lights are gonna to be too dim and you're not gonna be able to see them. So here, I'm gonna make it three and three. So I'm gonna have three lights here and three lights here, okay? And so I'm gonna have these lights be in series and I'm gonna have these lights be in series. But I'm not gonna, now I want these to be I want this to be parallel to this, okay? So remember like the junior high dance thing? So we connect these so that they hold hands on both sides, like that. And then I might have like a battery over here. And then you have one side goes to one side of the battery and the other one goes to the other side of the battery. So this would be an example of a wiring diagram. Okay, let me do another example. So let's say that you have a different scenario. Maybe you're doing a lighthouse. So here, if you have a lighthouse, let's say you have a something like this, and up here you have, I know that doesn't look like a lighthouse, but I'm trying to show you the illustration on the lights. So you want a really bright light up here, but remember you need a minimum of two. So I might have two up here, one on the front, and one on the back. So I label this back, okay? And then maybe I, have, I want some dimmer lights here. Maybe I do want them really dim, so maybe I'm gonna try five. And you can experiment with the lights that we have in class if you'd like to see how bright they would be. So I'm gonna have these in series, and I'm gonna have these in series. But now, I'm in a different color, I'm gonna show how they connect. So I want these two lights to be in parallel with those. So now I'm gonna have these connect here, and then the other side needs to connect, okay? And then I have a battery, and one side goes to one side, and one goes to the other. Okay, I'm gonna give a third example. Let's say you have um, a house or whatnot, or something, let's say you have a house, and you're putting like Christmas lights on your house, and so you want Christmas lights all around the top. Let's say you have um, something like that. Okay, you have eight lights. 
So maybe you want four and four in series, or maybe you want two, 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 two. Let's do that. So if you want them all bright, so here you have two, here you have two, here you have two, and here you have two, okay? And so how are these all gonna connect? So there's different ways you can do it. You can say, okay, I'm gonna put all of these sides together like that, and then I can use a different color for the other side. And then I'm gonna have all these sides connect together like that. And then you have your battery and one of these, let's use a different color again, goes to the positive side and the other one goes to the negative side. That's a little bit messy, but that would work, okay? Another way you could do this is you could kind of try to keep track of what's positive and negative. You could be like, okay, I'm connecting these together and I'm gonna have these go to the positive side of my battery. So I'm gonna put a plus on there, okay? And then if this is going to the positive side, then this side would have to go to the negative side. So this is gonna have to go to the negative side. And then if this over here is negative, then that means this side has to go to the positive side. And then here, if this side is, if, that side, if this side is positive, then this side has to be negative. So then what you could do is you can connect this wire to this wire and have that go to negative. And then you could have this wire connect to this wire and that could go to positive. So uh, be patient, do your best. I will be back um, as soon as I can. Um, if you get stuck, ask a neighbor or whatnot. Do it in pencil if you're confused. Don't do it in pen unless you think you know what you're doing. Um, and then when you're done making your wiring diagram, then you're gonna go and make your electrical schematic. So your electrical schematic is, let's say you're gonna have you know, two lights, two lights, two lights, and two lights. So these are all in series, but then these are all in parallel. Your electrical schematic would look like this. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So depending on what your thing is, you have a nine volt battery and all the resistors are gonna be five ohms. So um, try to do the calculations. If you get stuck, go to my tutorials that I have um, in, that I um, posted. And I guess that's it. Thank you.